name is uh, Eric O'Connor, um, one of the founders and the uh, current brewmaster uh, here at Thorn Street Brewery. Uh, background, uh, for about 20 years I was a lab geek with a background in uh, biochemistry. Started homebrewing a lot and then along with uh, two buddies, Dan Carrico and Dennis O'Connor. Just opened up this brewery about four years ago. My influences definitely would have been some of the early pioneers in San Diego brewing, Pat from Alpine, Peter Zine at Ale Smith, two that come to mind, Jeff Bagby, Tommy Arthur, um, guys just making great beer with no one really as, you know, a role model for them. They had to just figure it out themselves. Like we have the luxury of standing on the shoulders of giants and brewing these days. Also being home brewers as a background versus like businessmen who wanted to open a brewery, we always wanted to have like a crazy amount of styles and like 15, 16 beers on tap. And we probably have like 30 to 40 recipes that we rotate through those taps. Uh, we have a seven barrel system uh, in the back. We uh, like to think of it as just a giant homebrew system. We uh, hand mash and kind of do some other real traditional old school ways of brewing. Um, it's definitely physical. Malt usually comes from the Pacific Northwest, Midwest area. Hops, same thing, either usually the Pacific Northwest or Oregon, Northern California, New Zealand, Australia. We get our yeast locally. We try to buy everything as local as possible, whenever possible, but for a lot of the malt and uh, hop suppliers, they just can't grow them at these low latitudes. So we try to work with the, the kind of companies that have a good reputation for, for being green in terms of how they um, minimize their carbon footprint and shipping things to Southern California. The brewers and myself are just doing a standard quality control ta uh, taste testing and taking some lab basic lab measurements to like ensure the quality of each batch. My name is Dennis O'Connor. I'm CEO and co-founder of Thorn Street Brewery. Beer should be a little bit of a science, a little bit of magic, and a lot of bit of creativity. And I think uh, I think it's helped evolve our beers. We have a great, great support staff in the back of the house. I think I think Thorn Street is it's one of the first, if not the first, neighbor. Hood breweries were actually brewed on site. Um, it was kind of at the forefront of these things being allowed in residential neighborhoods. So it's a neighborhood brewery. I mean, it really feels like if you've ever been to Ireland or London or any of these places where you go and sit in a nice cozy pub and you see, you know, families and dogs and, and it's just kind of like a little neighborhood hangout. So I think that's the vibe. It's just a neighborhood, family friendly, fun, you know, low key spot. Surfing definitely is a part of the culture and vibe of both the tasting room and in some way, shape, form the beer sometimes, like the Barrio Lager. I mean, that's a, that's a destination beer, uh, you could call it, specifically around where we end up surfing most of the time because it's in our backyard. Um, I, I love what we've created here. Thorn is it's a neighborhood spot. We're active in the community. We do a lot of charitable stuff. It's fun. The beer's good. I think uh, we're all really excited about what's next. <laughs>